Hey yo, welcome back to another video, it's your boy Ahmed and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I became the first person in UK history to land triple cork. But first, let's roll the intro. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. My attempt at like a weird northern accent. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> so I said it in the last video and I I just need to tell you again. I absolutely love being back and making videos. It's just, oh, it fills me with such joy. I can't even express. I know I look a little bit homeless right now. Maybe 2020, the year of the mustache. Even if you do say so, I'm probably not going to bring it back. But maybe, but probably not. But maybe, but probably not, but maybe. But if you are enjoying the videos and me being back, then make sure you hit the like button because it, it helps my self-esteem and it makes me want to film more videos. So yeah, if you watched the last video, then it will come as no shock to you that I landed Triple Cork again. So in today's video, I'm just going to be looking back over the journey, the absolute trek of a journey that has got me to the point of now being able to land it every session that I try it. So there is no triple cork without the early years. And the early years were kind of strange because for many years I found flips fascinating. Then fast forward a few years, I'm just some Dudley boy on a beach. There were some people there and they did flips. And then I was like, flips are cool. We should do flips together. Then we did flips. So fast forward a few months, I meet this young lad named Sam Kojo Plummer. He was good at flips. I wanted to get good at flips. I basically hounded him until he helped me get good at flips. Now, in the very early stages of me doing tricks, my tricks were all really weird, and I'm trying corks. While I'm trying corks, I do the twist really straight. I don't do a flip, and I'm just kind of doing this weird swing B-twist type trick. So in my head, I was like, maybe if I can twist straight in a cork, if I just hold that, maybe if I'm in the air for longer and I twist twice, then I can land on my feet because I'll do more of a flip. So I'm trying double corks way before I could even cork. Obviously stupid because I was a stupid kid from Dudley. <laughs> I eventually got cork and then I was going in for double cork. Just as I was getting kind of close, but still kind of far at the same time, Kojo bet me 10 pounds, or was it like 10 monsters or something? He bet me the equivalent of 10 pounds that I wouldn't land it within the next two weeks. I must have done hundreds in that time. I just went to the gym and pretty much only attempted J-step double corks. So sometime within those two weeks, I landed double cork, and it was like the greatest feeling ever. I was so excited because not only did I land double cork for the first time, I was a broke student at college, and Kojo had to buy me 10 monsters. And and I love proving him wrong. We had this weird like marriage type relationship, even in the early years. So once I'd landed my double cork, that was a little bit of a benchmark for me. And I just kind of trained every single day that I could. It was all I ever wanted to do. So fast forward a year or two, I'm trying to do dub dub and triple cork. I was kind of nowhere near triple cork, but at the same time, if I had the conviction that I have now, I probably could have landed it. So the next thing I was at this gathering in Leicester, and I'd been trying cart dub dub for quite a while and I was kind of getting nowhere with it. And then one time I just did a master scoot double cork and I was like, whoa, this might be a thing. And then next thing I know, I'm trying master scoot double cork, double cork, and I was getting really close. So try it one time, the whole gathering goes nuts and I was so excited, finally hit my first dub dub. I was elated. I carried on trying to do triple cork, but I was also kind of shaking because I was so excited about doing dub dub. Obviously I had to get that consistent, but now it's kind of all focus and attention is onto triple cork. Now, obviously the race was on because not only did I want to land it for myself, nobody in UK history had ever landed it at this point. So I just really, really wanted it. There were quite a few people in the running, like Andy Durnford, Carl Skelly. Kojo was kind of injured at the time, I think. So he was out of the running. Otherwise it would have been me and him probably. I, honestly, I just didn't know what I was doing. I just didn't really know how to commit to it. It was super scary. It was like I was trying my best to try my best, but I wasn't actually trying my best, if that makes any sense. So Kojo and I go into this gathering in Norway and I was feeling super strong. We got to the team battles finals, I think. There was a, a young Swedish kid called uh, Michael Kriz. And during the battles, he did cart double Arabian in a combo. And he didn't quite land it. I think he put his hand down or something like that. And I was like, well, he didn't land. So if I don't land, it's kind of fine. So I decided, 
right, I'm going to muster everything I have and I'm going to try triple cork because maybe the hype of the battle will get me to land it. And then next thing I know, I'm kind of scrambling away and I didn't put my hands down and I've landed my first ever triple cork. The whole gathering went nuts. Everyone was picking me up and it was the craziest feeling in the world. My phone was kind of blowing up, people messaging me, tagging me and things saying congratulations. And I was like, this is an insane feeling. I'd never worked that hard for something. And even though it was sketch, I could still say I landed it. I'd never achieved anything of that magnitude. I'd never received that kind of response to something I've done. I've never had an entire room of like a hundred people jump around me and start congratulating me for something that I've done. It's a crazy, crazy feeling. I was just some fool from Dudley <laughs> and I'm still just some fool from Dudley, but I don't know. It's just, it's a strange thing to experience. So as I mentioned, somebody that was actually there during that experience was Sam Kojo of Kojo's Trick Lab. Honestly, if it weren't for him, I would have never have got to the level that I've been able to achieve in tricking. So if you want to learn flips like me, make sure you hit the link in the description and sign up to Kodra's Trick Lab because all of the best trickers in the world have got hours and hours of content on there for you to learn and get better at flips. So yeah, moving forward, I just kept trying, kept trying, and I couldn't seal the deal again for a fat minute. I knew that things didn't just become consistent, and I was really lucky to have landed it at that point. Now, a day before I was flying to America to go to Colorado to be a guest at my first American gathering, I was just like, nah, you know what? I'm going to try triple cork. I feel stupid strong. So while Can't Stop by Red Hot Chili Peppers was playing, I sealed the deal and hit two triple corks back to back in the space of like 15 seconds. It was such a good way for me to go off to America to be a guest at my first American gathering. Three days after that, I think it was three days, maybe four days, put my knee in a blender and I ruptured and tore all the ligaments in my knee. I didn't actually put it in a blender, I just landed a snappy rung. I ruptured my ACL, tore my MCL, meniscus, LCL, all these three letter acronyms busted them. That kind of put things on hold for a bit. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. So me and my boys go into America for the uh, US summer tricking tour. For two months we're in America, just doing as many flips as we can, traveling around, going to every single summer gathering. I hadn't done triple cork since before I'd injured my knee. Just got it into my head this one session and I was like, yo, I need to do this. It's a kind of a stupid idea, but I've got it in my head. Today is the day I need to get through this mental barrier because I've been so scared of it. I just needed to break that barrier. It was super sketch, obviously, because I still learned my lesson and I was still landing things mad sketch. But I felt strong and I landed it and then I just kind of left it at that. So after landing it in America, around two years had passed before I was actually able to land it again, mainly due to me not training consistently and not putting everything I can into my training at different points. I think it was November 2019. I was really starting to try and rebuild my body. I'm training as hard as I can. I'm working out every day. I'm stretching, I'm conditioning, I'm doing everything I can. I tried it one session. I landed it again, landed two back to back, and it felt like the most incredible thing I have ever felt. Because not only did it feel like I was just gonna land it and then that was that, it felt like I understood how to do it. And then ever since that session, every single session that I've tried it, I've landed it. Now, it may only be once or twice, but every time I know I can work it out in that session and then I can get it more and more consistent every week that passes. This has been spanned over like five years and it's been such a mental, emotional, because I remember one time I was trying to do triple cork, was getting so close but couldn't quite land it and I actually cried. It was only a few tears and I nearly pulled my hair out. I was super jacked up on coffee. I was exhausted, but I really, really wanted it. And it genuinely brought me to tears. And it's not something I'm proud of because obviously I'm a little pussy boy for crying. <laughs> nah, you should cry. Be more in touch with your emotions. Everyone should cry more. I want everyone to have a little cry during this video. Comment some crying faces. So it inspires more and more men to cry. You are not alone. <laughs> But since I landed those two during that session, I've landed a fair few. I'm not going to put all the clips in, but here's a bunch of clips from the most recent triple corks and some session footage. Oh, 
problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted A phone and affection, I summon and dub it Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who line for nothing I see that we different, you riding, I dub them I don't do discussions, I'm bragging about hundreds Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust it I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate So hand me the money, I divvy the pie I'ma give all of my people a portion To build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe and 40 on 50, it's really the time Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side I don't know if you thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time Full of pictures, dimensions, I don't with your digits I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the press will be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause check got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the press will be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted a full and affection, I summon and dub it. I hope this serves as some kind of inspiration. I don't know, some kind of wake up call for a lot of you is to basically say, don't be like Ahmed, just land your flips. All right. <laughs> If you've got any suggestions for combos or other tricks that I should try, maybe touchdown raise quad full soon, trip dub, or I don't know, just give me some ideas for tricks I can do. So I wanted to mention that I'm trying to build like a little community here on this channel. With the videos that I'm making, I want to serve as inspiration and just kind of build a relationship with each and every one of you. Anybody who's interested in any kind of creative shit, it doesn't really matter whether it's tricks, photography, film. If you're into basket weaving, I, I don't care. Pina always talks about basket weaving, so sorry, Pina, I had to take that one. <laughs> I think it's great. So drop a comment and let me know where you're from and what you're into. And maybe one day I'll be able to meet every single one of my subscribers. That'd be mental if that was my goal. I mean, it kind of is. I want to meet as many of you guys as possible. It really helps when you guys are commenting and interacting with my videos because then other people that are like-minded can see the videos and we can build a little community. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, obviously, why have you not subscribed yet? And why is your notification bell not on? Ring that bell, brother. Ring that bell like a cat would running through a field of sunflower. I don't know. Just ring the bell. So hit the subscribe button, drop me a comment, say what's popping, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Peace. Say bye. Peace.